Leo. Hey Leo, welcome back to my channel. And this is a week ahead reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or wherever you have a heavy Leo placement. Keep in mind this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with every single Leo, but you don't know yet. You don't know that yet. It's a prediction. I pray before each and every one of my readings, so that way my energy is protected, your energy is protected as well. And if you're returning, thank you so much for returning. All right? We have, I refuse to let you go. Hmm. I just got outside. I feel like this is an external energy that your person is dealing with. I definitely feel like your person may be attached to someone who does not want to let them go. They're definitely in this place where they have completely outgrown this person this situation, this relationship, but this person that they are attached to is extremely low vibrational and is very, very intentional about keeping them in this place here, okay? I'm definitely getting karmic cycle. Your person may very well be attached to someone, to some type of karmic energy right here that is seeing your person expand they're seeing them grow into this higher version of themselves. And they are literally doing their damnness to keep them at a lower level. That's, that's where that energy was coming from here. I definitely feel like your person may be going through something heavy. Okay? Something emotional, something spiritual. A very heavy internal process where they literally have to fight, you know, to get to the other side of this. Because whatever this energy is, okay, this energy is very, very intentional about keeping your person in this lower energy. So I'm definitely getting that your person may have outgrown this. They're trying to reach for something else, okay, on the other side of this, of this energy. And what, whatever this is, you know, showing up as in their lives, they really don't like it. So yeah, this is, this message may be very, very specific, okay? But yeah, this is resonating with you so far. You may be privy to this information here. You may be connected to someone who is connected to another person who is very low vibrational, um, may identify with karmic energy. You may be connected to someone who is low vibrational or you may identify as a karmic but whoever this energy is, this person feels you or your person expanding beyond that connection. And I'm definitely getting that they're at this point where they're willing to pretty much do anything. But I'm definitely getting mostly emotional and mental manipulation in order to keep this person stuck. Okay? Okay. I'm definitely getting that your person may be in this place where they're growing spiritually. They have gotten a glimpse of, you know, what God has for them. And they may definitely have been comparing it to what is in their lives right now. And they've made a choice that they don't want, you know, this lower vibrational energy attached to them anymore. They know that it's more. They know that they have the ability to manifest what it is that they want in their lives. At first, their reality wasn't a reflection of this. They may have settled, okay? A lot of times in life, we make very permanent decisions with very temporary people. And this only happens because we are not in alignment with who we are supposed to be. We have no idea of who we are. A lot of times we make these decisions when we are very, very young. And we wake up one day and we're like, oh shit, wrong person, wrong career, wrong city, you know? And by the time you look at your life like that and you put it under a microscope, sometimes you literally become defeated because you feel as if it's too much work for you to kind of dig yourself out of this hole that you literally created. Oh, it's, it's very, very spiritual, okay? So I'm getting that this could either be divine feminine or this could be divine masculine that's definitely attached, attached to this lower energy, okay? 
and this person is refusing, okay, almost refusing, almost wants to keep this person down at a certain level. So this person has definitely been aware of your light. And a, another thing is when it comes to this lower vibrational energy, it never seems to seek other lower vibrational energy. It always attracts people with a calling on their life or people who have divine souls or divine purpose or something to achieve here. And instead of them growing into their own divinity, they would rather bring you down. They would rather shrink you and make you feel as if you are not who you know you are. This energy is very dangerous, okay? I'm getting very, very just yucky energy from this person. This person may be extremely petty, extremely draining, okay? It's literally to a point where your person can just no longer stomach being around this person, okay? Because they're realizing they've got a glimpse of this person's soul and it's ugly, okay? Wow, I just got beautiful person, ugly soul. So something may be very superficial here. A lot of times people can be att attracted to the wrong things. We're looking at the exterior, what people have, okay? What people say, but their insides are just completely damaged. So yeah. Okay, I have a feeling this is gonna be a pretty deep message. This may not resonate with everyone. I feel like this is very specific, okay? Let's get the next message here. Wow. We have let me love you. Mm. I definitely feel like whoever your person is attached to is really, really aware that they don't have the tools to love your person. They're kind of forcing their mentality, okay, their level of awareness on your person, forcefully wanting to love your person, forcefully trying to make your person fit into this world that they have outgrown, okay? It's almost as if they're, they're telling them, let me love you like this, settle for this. This is very, very low vibrational energy. It's just almost like making me feel sick, okay? So your person may literally feel sick to their stomach being around this energy because I'm definitely getting that this person refuses to grow. Your person could have definitely put a lot of energy into trying to evolve this connection, okay? Um, growing themselves, evolving themselves. And this person literally refuses to grow beyond you know, their life experiences because in reality, we all come here to heal. We all come here to evolve and change. And a lot of times when we show up in relationships, we show up as who we think we are based upon how we were raised, um, our emotional processes, what we believe love is. And we learn this through the relationships closest to us. And so, when we align with people, we usually align with people who believe the same things that we believe. But what happens when you get into a situation and you look around you and your external world is not a reflection of what you feel on the inside? You become aware of something higher. You become aware of what it is God wants for you. And then you look around you and nothing is a reflection of that. Then what happens? you are usually faced with the choice to settle in a situation or you can go and align with what it is that God has for you. Because a lot of times, like I said before, we make a lot of permanent decisions with people who are supposed to be temporary, who are supposed to teach us a certain thing about life, a certain thing about love. And we take those lessons, we put it in our arsenal and use it for our next level. It's not the end game. So I'm definitely picking up that this could be you or your person. It's at this place where you have literally outgrown everything around you. God has called you to something higher. 
and you're beginning to look around you and realize that you are in the wrong place or your person is looking around them and realizing like, oh man, I'm in the wrong place. I made the wrong choice. What do I do now? And just honestly, regardless of if you choose to settle or if you choose to expand beyond where you are, your person is realizing that both of these choices are hard. It's hard to stay in a situation that you know does not align with you, but it's also hard to go out and grow beyond that and go against the grain and do something that has never been done before. A lot of these things are foreign. A lot of times we literally have to create the life that we want. We don't come here with the tools. You know, a lot of divine beings, a lot of highly spiritual people go through some of the most toughest backgrounds, go through some of the most trauma. And they show up healed, they show up whole because of making an intentional choice about showing up that way. Because based upon the things that you go through, you can definitely be a totally different person. And I'm definitely getting that whatever this external energy is, I'm definitely picking up a heavy karmic cycle that is holding on for dear life. That your person is trying to grow beyond and is trying to expand beyond. And this person, this energy is like, no, this is how I want to love you. This, this is what I want you to accept. How dare you think that you should be able to align with something higher than this? Wow. Whew. Okay, so if, if you haven't spoken to your person or if, you know, something about their energy may seem a little bit down here and you are aware that they are attached to this type of energy, they're going through a major, major pivotal point within their own spiritual journey because they have been awakened to who they are and where they are supposed to be. And I'm definitely getting that they're in this process of elimination. Just naturally with the planet, with this whole recalibration thing happening, things that are not in alignment with who we are and who we are supposed to be and where we are supposed to be is naturally falling away. But this energy is clinging on. This low vibrational energy is clinging on for dear life, okay? Trying to keep people in this state of confusion, trying to keep you in this state of fear, making you feel as if there's nothing more for you out here in the world. And that is absolutely false, okay? Let's get the next message here. Wow. We have, you were my first teacher. Wow. So I definitely just got a burst of like light energy with that. So I'm definitely feeling like your person is telling you this message. You were their first teacher. You were the first person who provided them with evidence that love is real, okay? You provided them with the evidence that everything that they were feeling on the inside of them, they could actually, actually have it in their external world here. It's not just a fantasy. It's not just them, you know, reaching for the stars. They believe that love is real because they came in contact with you. I'm definitely getting like a compare and contrast energy where it's like your person really settled for something because they were not aware of who they were. Okay, and a lot of times when you go out into the world not knowing who you are, okay, everything that you come into alignment with will affirm you and you will literally be stuck in a pattern where everything around you will be a reflection of everything that you are not. And then it's like your person met you. I'm getting perfect stranger. Wow. So it's almost as if you cross paths with your person. You ignite this. It's like an activation I'm getting. There was like a total activation. So I'm picking up that 
Divine Feminine, you definitely may have been in this karmic cycle as well. And this could be with a past, you know, lover. This could be family. This could be something. I'm getting that you two actually activated one another upon meeting each other. So much so that your lives have been forever changed. I'm getting that you didn't even know that that this type of love existed until you came in contact with your person. And I'm talking about unconditional love. I'm talking about no matter where you are on this planet, no matter how life turns out for me or for you, it is it is my, you know, I, I, I just want you to be happy. It is my hope that, that you are happy. It is my hope that you are safe that you are blessed, that you are abundant, that type of love. Not this love over here, this I refuse to let you go, I refuse to let you grow beyond me. You're telling me that you're unhappy. You're telling me that this, this doesn't align with what it is that you want for your life and I just want you to stay here to appease my feelings and to make me feel okay. Not that type of love, that's very restrictive, okay? that's very compressed. This love right here is just expansive. I'm definitely getting that there was a major activation upon coming in contact with your person and they want you to know that you were their first teacher. A lot of them equated love to control. A lot of them felt as if you know, if I love you, I can tell you this, you have to do this, you have to act this way. A lot of them have even, you know, projected this energy onto you. And when things didn't go their way, they either ran, okay? Um, this caused some type of big blow up here. But your person is learning that love is freedom. Love is being able to completely navigate your journey and go through what it is that God wants you to go through parallel to another being, parallel to another divine soul, to your divine counterpart. And making the conscious decision that no matter where life takes you and no matter where life takes me, I am going to love you regardless. I'm going to give you well wishes. I'm going to pour into you. I want you to be happy. Okay? Your person is learning that love is not restrictive. It's a beautiful, beautiful energy. Okay? And coming in contact with you has activated this within your person. You made this very real for them. I'm getting a lot of them didn't even realize that, that this was a real thing. And because they came in contact with you, it's almost as if you have opened their world up to something totally different. I'm also getting that I just got version. I'm getting that you get a totally different version of your person than anyone else has ever experienced because every other connection has been riddled with restriction, repression, control, fear, all of these lower vibrational energies. And with you, it's almost as if you are, you have become that safe space. You've given a, a new definition to love, to light, to spirituality. Because a lot of times it's, it's so crazy. A lot of people can equate love and spirituality and all of these beautiful vibrational things to restriction. You know, it's, it's, it's really crazy. But yeah, your person is showing up saying, you were my first teacher. You were the first person who provided me with tangible evidence that I can actually have this life, that I can actually be abundant, be in love, okay? And be in a love that is freeing, a love that is illuminating, a love that is expansive, not restrictive. Very beautiful energy here. I just feel the energy changing, okay? So I'm definitely getting that. You definitely changed the course of your person's life. They're very appreciative to you for this, okay? Let's get the next message. Wow. We have, I'm not the bad guy here. Yeah. So I'm definitely getting that your person made a lot of 
choices that were not a direct reflection of what it is that they were feeling on the inside here. And they want you to know that I'm definitely getting that your person wants you to know them on a deeper level. It's like they really want you to know their journey and what it is that they've been through and how they got to this point. Um, because maybe you're viewing them through a lens of through a lens that's very surface. Maybe you don't know what it is that they've been through that led them up to this point, that led them to make these decisions that they have made today. It's almost as if your person's heart is coming through asking you to really view them from a higher perspective or view this situation from a higher perspective here. Because I'm definitely getting that your person is coming to the awareness that they were in the wrong place, that they made the wrong choices. And it's, it's actually hitting them, you know, like out of nowhere. But I'm definitely picking up that this, this energy in their lives is very intentional, very strategic energy, very low vibrational. And it's almost as if your person wants you to see what it is that they're dealing with here. This may be a massive karmic cycle, a massive one. One that may have taken a very, very long time, okay? Let's get the next message here. Wow. We have beyond what you can see. I just got faith. Your person is, is in this place where they are literally tapping into their faith. Their world around them is not a reflection of what it is that they want, but they're at this place where they really have faith. They really believe that they can have this. Oh my gosh, I'm also getting that. Your person is realizing that this energy is strategic. It's almost as if they're separating this karmic energy from the person and really seeing it from a higher perspective and understanding that this energy was literally set on their path to alter their destiny, to make sure that they don't become who they are supposed to become, that they don't fall in love with who they are supposed to fall in love with. Nothing is by coincidence. If you're in a situation and it doesn't feel right, it's because it's not right. A lot of times we overcomplicate things and we try to make things fit like two puzzle pieces that are out of place. It just won't fit. And it's because it's not supposed to. Someone's um, person is really going through a massive, massive awakening at this time. And not only are they going through an awakening, they are shifting, they are taking action to get into alignment to where it is that they need to be because they're understanding that the longer that they stay attached to this energy, the longer that they are gonna be kept from their destiny. Every single day that they have to bask in this energy is completely uncomfortable, it's completely painful, okay? It's almost as if this person is breaking them down completely, this process, not even the person because it's an energy. This energy is completely breaking them down, okay? Bringing them down to their knees in order to get them to recognize their soul, their true soul, and to be intuitively led to where it is that they're supposed to be. This is surrender. It's almost as if your person is getting to this place of complete surrender. And because they are here, things are starting to shift. Things are starting to align. And I feel like this beyond what you can see energy is them really getting to this place of their external world, not even reflecting what it is on the inside of them, but then building up this momentum in the spiritual world, them praying, okay? Them really, really being optimistic about what it is that they want, them speaking it into existence, them manifesting you, this higher love, this whatever it is that they want into their world, manifesting it beyond what they can see. Wow, this, this is beautiful. Yeah, your person is definitely in this process right now where they are trusting that everything that they want, everything that their heart desires will be brought into alignment with them. 
There may be a lot of illusions around them, but they definitely know that they can have anything that they want here. And it's almost as if your energy has taught them that you you were their first teacher. You may be extremely optimistic, um, extremely in alignment with your destiny, with your purpose, to the point where people who look at you can see, they can see the radiance coming off of you. They can see that you are in tune with the universe. And your person is stepping into that energy. And I'm definitely picking up very, very light energy from this card here. So I definitely feel as if even though your person may be in this place, they're happy. Okay? They're happy. They're going through some heavy stuff. But as they begin to release these cycles, as they begin to take these burdens off of their shoulders, they feel lighter. They feel, they feel more happy. They feel more in, an, more in alignment because they have an internal peace beyond what they can see. Wow. Let's get the last message here. Yeah, this message is very, very specific, okay? Wow, we have this is your sign. So you know what I'm getting with this one? I'm getting that if you have been wondering if your person has awakened, if you've been wondering what it is that your person has been going through in the background, behind the scenes, this is your sign. I'm feeling like there's definitely a divine feminine energy where you're trying to figure out how your person is navigating this karmic cycle. I'm getting a massive karmic cycle that they are breaking, okay? They may literally be um, chosen to break this for literally for generations to come. And when you break major karmic cycles like this, you literally heal your bloodline seven years forward and seven years back. It's that powerful. And so this, this is your sign, this reading is your sign that your person is actually putting in the work, that your person is actually breaking a karmic cycle. This is kind of giving you a look into their process here. Your person wants you to know that they are not the bad guy, okay? They may even be asking you to believe beyond what you can see because I'm definitely getting a very, very deep spiritual connection here, a very heavy telepathic connection, a very like solid energetic bond between you and your person where they're asking you to see their heart, to understand their process, what, what it is that they're going through here. And Divine Feminine, if you have ever been attached to a karmic energy, a low vibrational energy, a toxic energy, whether this is love, family, you know, someone that you really, really connected with from your heart space, you know how tumultuous this can be. And you know how hard this can be to break out of this cycle. It's not easy and, and it's not for the weak. A lot of people stay connected to these lower energies because they refuse to do the work. I don't get that energy from this person. I get the energy of a person who, you know, was molded a certain kind of way and had a very different idea of what love was. And so that's what they attracted into their lives. And then they had to awaken to what love really was. And now there's a clearing that's happening right now. And this clearing may not be pretty, you know, but I'm definitely getting that this person is showing up. This person is willing to do the work. And this is your sign right here, okay? So these are the messages that I have for you all tonight. If you resonated with this video, be sure to hit the like button on the way out. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye. Bye.